Ethan's here. Drew's probably still asleep. I don't so, know if he's coming or not. Greg's getting his oil changed. He should be meeting us out here. <laughs> We've been going kind of hard at it the last couple, like the last week or so. Hell yeah. And unfortunately, I just lost about four hours of video from yesterday. <laughs> so we're out here today to make up for that. Got to get that bad weather fishing down. Yeah. It's cold, overcast, not really rainy, but it's off and on. And we're going to try to find where the bass are. Woo. The S.A. River. So yeah, let's get to it. You waited too long. Oh, 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 eat it. Oh, oh, please, please eat it. Oh. There you go. Oh my Didn't god. Didn't even have to reel him in. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I thought it was a rock, man. And I got that all on video, too. Oh, woo. Got the whole, oh, the, yeah. the moments leading up to it, the tension, the, the hook set. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> it's like it's like when people get snagged here they don't even try to get their line back they just cut it off it's like as soon as it's snagged they just cut it and call it a loss they don't even try to get it back or pop it free or anything yeah it'll pop off at the knot at the knot at least instead of instead of leaving your whole spool of line loose in the water Yeah. And then they do the same thing with cast nets here. There are so many cast nets in this river. Especially in this park. There's one there's one right here somewhere and then there's another one up at that kayak launch uh that we passed on the way over here. It's like they get they throw it out and they throw it right on top of a rock and then just leave it there. It's like even if you tear it up, you should go you should get that back. That lay it lead and everything's reusable, you can reuse the rope off it or something. Is that a fish? Yep, yeah, got one. Got it? Wasn't sure it was a fish at first. Yeah. It's not the bass I'm looking for, but take it. <laughs> oh, oh my God. It's a good one, whatever. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, dude, it's a quad. Man. Shh. Nice. Whew. Fought like it was going to be a five pounder. This is huge for a quad. I saw him swirl on it too. I saw a blow up. I didn't even think I was that close to the water or to the surface. Of course, this hook's not quite strong enough to pop through like that. There it goes. Sort of. There we go. Nice. Fat. She is about to pop too. She's pre spawn. Getting fat. About to lay eggs. There she goes. Whew. I was really just messing around. I decided from where I'm standing to throw it as far as I could that way. And it was right in the middle. And the way I was 
fishing it with the way the current is, it was up towards the surface. And I saw her swirl on it. I saw the splash. So it was almost like a topwater bite. So topwater might actually work today. There we go. Not a quad this time. A little large mouth. I really should have taken a picture of that quad, but I forgot. I didn't do it. There we go. Oh no! Damn. He swirled on it too, like a topwater. That was a good one too. Good one? Oh, it's a football. Ethan's not even looking. Ethan! He's, maybe he's got his headset in. Uh -huh. Nice one. It's not even a quad, is it? Yeah. yeah. I just had one blew up on me over there, but he, he pulled the worm off the hook. I guess he didn't get the hook. Ethan! Uh, <laughs> Ethan! Hey, turn around! I know you hear me. Hey, get a picture. Yeah. Solid fish, sure. Yeah, get a get pliers. I lost my hook remover. Really? Yeah. It fell out of my bag or something. It would have been perfect for this situation. Yeah. <laughs> Before I could even shoot anything on it or do any kind of video about it. Yeah. Dude, we've been yelling your name for like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> they choked it though. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Got hooked on the <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, cool. You actually cut the. Yeah, I cut the knot off. Yeah. Oh, what? I just had one under that vegetation over there. I got one. Oh. Oh. Fought a lot harder than he looked. <laughs> yeah. Choked it too. Damn. The, I threw it out. Right, I skipped it up under those uh, the vegetation on the edge there, and he blew up on it when I tried to pull it out because I snagged the branch. So I threw it under there again, and he just swallowed it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh, you got him. Uh, yeah. You almost broke your rod, too. <laughs> you almost broke your yeah, rod, no. too. Jesus. I heard a snap. Yeah. Oh, you're a fat one, too. You're a little chunky. Like, looks like you mean as much as I do. Oh. 
Is he on? I got one. He's just swimming towards me, so I couldn't feel him. Oh, and he slipped off right there. Damn it. He was swimming towards me, so I couldn't set the hook. He came off right there, man. That's frustrating. Oh, I had another one. Pulled me off. Okay. okay. Yeah. Got him. Little one. Yeah, and I didn't set it like an asshole either. <laughs> set it a little hard, but... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't yank it all the Reasonably. Like I normally do, yeah. Yeah. So, first cast, right? Yep. Just let it all roll the... underneath the tree. Don't even yeah. mess with it. Just let it roll down there. He's all don't touch me. <laughs> I gotta get the hook out, my dude. Yeah, there you go. Ow! Pretty sure that hurt me when I hurt you. He's like, wanna bet? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> His mouth is all cartilage, right? Yeah. There we go. Got him? Yeah! On a fast retrieve. It's over here somewhere. It's behind me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got one. I think I got yours. <laughs> wow. I think I got I think I got your fish, Ethan. <laughs> well, it doesn't count, my camera wasn't on. <laughs> Solid fish, yeah. Pound. Yep, right in that freaking corner. Actually, yeah. What did I miss? There's another one in there. Yeah, actually, I see one. It's probably a pair. Today would have been a perfect day to do a video about that hook remover. I even went back and looked around under those railroad tracks and everything and that gate that we crawled under, couldn't find it. Yeah. So, I'm gonna tell them where it went. All right, man, I'll see you. <laughs> Got one. Oh. Right as Ethan's leaving and walking away, I catch one. <laughs> there we go. Weird way to hook him. Hooked under the mouth. <laughs> but there we go. Got me another one. Getting into the spotted bass now. 
that's all three species here. We got guads, got largemouth, got spotted bass. So there we go. Got the, the hat trick there. I have seriously lost count to how many fish we've caught today. I think Greg caught one. I know when we started, Ethan got one. I had two when we came up this way and we didn't catch anything until we started heading back down. I had one up there. I think I'm around seven or eight fish. I think Ethan probably had about the same amount. He had to leave. He had somewhere to be by five o'clock. Greg also had somewhere to be by five o'clock, but he also got out here pretty late, so he only got one. Me and Ethan have been out here all morning. So, somehow I got a knot in my line. What is... How? How does this happen? That, actually I do know what happens there. That's what happens when you get line twist. <laughs> Gotta let my thing sit here and untangle itself. Line twist is a more serious problem than you would expect it to be. Kind of sucks that I lost all that footage from yesterday. But throughout the whole day, we between the two of us, we only caught three fish. So I'd say today just shattered that. Just even though, especially that first wad that I caught, that thing was huge. As you can see, compared to all these other fish that I'm catching, even the largemouth and and uh, and spotted bass, they're all tiny compared to that that guad. So fish don't typically get big here. Not bass, anyway. There really are fish everywhere in this river. Just nothing really big. Just about every spot we've stopped and cast into in the last hour or so has produced something. Like right there. I mean they're not they're not big. This is about average right here. But it's producing. Get out of there. This is the, the average fish in this area. I actually fished this spot earlier, since I'm working my way back to the truck now, but I didn't get anything here, but there was a lot of activity. Hoping there's something that's gonna bite now. It's been a couple of hours. There we go. Thought it might pay off. A little quad. All right, the, the battery died and cut me off there, but I had a fish. Had a nice little quad. Not sure how much of it was seen on video, but should have at least seen the fish. At least the fight. And there was a train going by at the same time, so like I said before, the trains bring luck. All right, well, this video started off being about trying to catch fish in bad weather, but it ended up being pretty nice by the end of the day. Yeah, it ended up being pretty nice. The, the rain cleared out. It's still overcast and it's a little cold, but the water's warm. So it wasn't as, as bad as we thought it was going to be. But it was really nasty this morning, so I completely lost track, lost count of how many fish were caught. Uh, I think I caught a minimum of 10. Uh, Ethan did pretty well. Greg only caught the one because he wasn't here for very long. And Drew never showed up. He likes to flake out a lot. So. I'm just walking around looking at the water to see if there's any signs of activity. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it, call it a day there. Uh, most of my fish were caught on the skinny Sanko, weightless. So, and Ethan was throwing a jig for the first part of the day. Caught, I think he caught like one or two like that. 
and then he started throwing a worm as well. So, worked out pretty good. Okay, I was trying to hold my microphone in place and move my fingers so they're not sticking out in front of the lens, and I ended up dropping my camera. I almost ended up in the river. So I don't know how much of that was caught. But anyway, caught about 20 fish total between the three of us. And, yeah, worked out pretty well. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.